Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is we will convert decimals to fractions. Last time, meron tayong natload a video with regards to converting fractions to decimals. So ang target natin ngayon is i-reverse yung process na ginawa natin sa ating latest video or sa ating nakaraang video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here converting decimals to fractions. Again, I have six different examples na sana ay maintindihan niya kung paano siya ginagawa ng mas mabilis. So let's say for example, we have number 1, 0.6. Ngayon, ang technique dito guys is ito. Alamin niyo kung anong decimal place yung nandito sa right side. So as you can see, this is 6 tenths. Again, 6 tenths. To convert this one into fraction, what you need to do is to put this number 6 in your numerator. And then as for the denominator, di ba sabi dito 6 tenths. Lagay mo ng 1, again, 1. Tapos, ilang decimal places ang meron ka sa right side. Yun yung bilang ng 0 na ilalagay mo kay 1. So, again, ang technique dito, ulitin lang natin, is that, get this number, which is 6, put that in your numerator, over, for your denominator, since this one is in tenths digit, you will put 1 here, tapos, meron tayong 1 decimal place, 1, so naglalagay ito ng isang 0. Okay? So, we have now, 6 over 10. Yun yung kanyang equivalent fraction. Still, we can further simplify this 6 over 10. And yung 6 over 10 natin, when we simplify this fraction, this one is equivalent to 3 over 5. Meaning, yung 6 over 10 natin saka 3 over 5 is the same as 0 0.6. Ganun lang siya kadali. So, para mas may, may imagine yung lalo tong examples natin, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have 0 0.600. Okay? 600. Ang digit natin dito ay 6. So we will put that in your numerator. And as for your denominator, maglagay ka ng 1. Put 1 here. And then count the number of decimal places on the right side. This is 1 and 2. So you have to put here 1, 0, and another 0. We have two decimal places, so we have 6 over 100. And uh, same thing with number 1, we can further simplify 6 over 100, in which it will give us the simplest form of 3 over 50. This is the answer for item number 2, and this is for item number 1. Now for item number 3 naman guys, we have here 0 0.24. Same process. Copy this number 24 in your numerator over, since this is 2400, we're going to 1 and 2 zeros. That's why we have 24 over 100. And then for further simplification, we can simplify this fraction bilang 6 over 25. So, why? Para sa silang merong, uh, ang kanilang greatest common factor kasi ay 4. So, four, 24 divided by 4 is 6. 100 divided by 25, uh, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So this is the answer for item number 3. Now let's move on with item number 4. We have 0 0.035. So copy 35. So you have here 35 over, in which we have 1, 2, 3 decimal places. Meaning meron dapat tayong tatlong 0, therefore, our denominator is 1,000. And to simplify your fraction, uh, their GCF, the, the GCF of 35 and 1,000 is 5. So this is 7 over 200. This is the final answer for item number 4. Next number 5, we have 0 0.002 copy 2 over 1, 2, 3. We have three zeros and then one. And to further simplify this, fr this fraction, it will give us the answer of one over 500. 
Okay, di ba ganun lang siya kadali? Okay, so you can pause the video and you can try this. Pero for the sake of the tutorial, tutuloy na natin siya. Ngayon, this one is quite different from the first five examples. We have here a whole number. So you, what you will do here is to separate first the whole number, which is 4. And you need to get the value or the equivalent fraction of 0 0.02. So, get this number, which is 2, and then we have 1, 2. Again, 1, 2 decimal places at the right side of the decimal point. So, we will have our denominators 100. And to simplify this, yung 2 over 100 natin is the same as 1 over 50. Okay? So, we will attach 1 over 50 to the whole number. And... The final result, or the equivalent fraction of 4.02 is 4 and 1 over 50. So I hope na nakuha niyo yung lesson natin on how to convert decimals to fractions. If you have any question about our topic or our solution today, feel free to comment down below and let me read your comments. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!